My name is Annette Duffy and I'm the Employment Service Manager in Dublin Northern's Partnership. Hi, my name is Abdesalam Hassan and my role at Dublin Northwest Partnership is a Refugee Support Officer. I'm Stephen O'Connell. I have a background in applied linguistics and second language acquisition and more than 20 years of experience in language education and language assessment. Based on the identified need uh, with our work with international protection applicants here at Dublin Northwest Partnership, we decided to apply for the um, International Protection Integration Fund 2023. And as a result, we developed the Level Up program, which we offered to international protection applicants uh, residing in the direct provision centres in our catchment area. Frequently asked services are English classes and employment supports. So we have a number of English classes running at the moment, and also we have delivered a number of employment support programs. While we are offering these employment-related programs, we have identified there is a, an additional need for work-related English classes. So we have established a Level Up program which aims to equip participants and knowledge about the work and, and also learn the language related to the workplace and its environment. We're, we're basically taking a task-based language teaching approach to the instruction, TBLT for short. Uh, this is a very learner-focused approach to language instruction um, in which we aim to identify uh, and focus on the actual communicative tasks that these learners need to be able to accomplish. Um, so more international protection applicants who are from around the world and new to Ireland often have immediate and clear language needs, um, but there is variation within the groups. So we need to talk to the learners about what their language needs are. We need to talk with others that they're interacting with in their communities and others that they'll be interacting with in the future. Um, basically, we're, we're conducting a needs analysis with the learners and the results of that needs analysis is what uh, forms the basis of the curriculum rather than a predetermined list of, of grammar or vocabulary. And so for example, um, a task that could be used with TBLT and has been used in this class is having learners practicing speaking about their skills and experience, their work skills and experience in response to a tell me about yourself question um, in a job interview. And so these tasks that we've identified um, are the basis for the classroom activities and the grammar and the vocabulary and language functions that we then focus on flow out of that. Hi everyone, my name is Fred Kamsoko. I'm 32 years old. I'm originally from Zimbabwe. Um, so I joined the English course because um, I wanted to learn new skills in terms of communication, my communication skills, and I also wanted to improve my grammar. Hi, my name is Akbar Kamal Mohammed. I'm from South Africa. I've been here last, uh, almost four months and uh, I've been doing great. So I also wanted to learn that um, and also integrate myself in the Irish culture and learning, we learn new words every day. And the course also provides you with an opportunity to build your CV and know how you you, you work, you have to handle yourself in the work environment. So yeah, that's why I joined the class. Teaching us the way we can present ourselves in a, if we're going for the, uh, for example, if we're going for the interview. So he's, he's, he's teaching us to, to how to interview, how to present yourself. I mean, he's taking that fear from uh, from our heart, you know, taking out and, and, and throwing in a garbage, that fear, you know. So, so we can uh, so we can be perfect when we're going for the in a real internet. I feel very strongly that by making language classroom activities as relevant as possible, which is something that TBLT allows, we're increasing the possibility of engagement, and we of course need engagement of learners to get acquisition of language. I can speak um, precisely, and I can also um, articulate my words very, very carefully now. <laughs> And it's good that um, when you can speak good English, your ideas and your thoughts are, are understood by the next person. So as we get ready to, to live in Ireland, I only wish I could improve my communication skills and my confidence in order for me to be a productive member of society.